Hey guys, it's Chef Lindsay, and today I'm going to make a no-bake dessert. It's a chocolate peanut butter cup, and it has vegan chocolate chips, organic peanut butter, coconut sugar, good sea salt, little vanilla, a little maple syrup. It's really, really easy and really, really delicious. Let's start. Now you can get these liners at your grocery store, or you can do it at maybe even Michael's. Um, I got this at a baking store because they're really tiny and I had a gift card and so I got these cute gold, gold colored, I love them. So I'm measuring out three quarters of a cup of organic peanut butter. And you can get organic peanut butter at most stores, I think. Um, I do it at my regular market, I do it at Whole Foods. This happens to be Whole Foods. It's really, really delicious and it's not too salty, which is wonderful. It's just really, really fresh. Next ingredient is one third cup of coconut sugar. There's a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to do one teaspoon of vanilla and one teaspoon of maple syrup. Now we've got our ingredients and we're just gonna stir it, blend it all. Okay, next we're going to add a cup and a half of dark chocolate morsel chips. Enjoy life, these are organic vegan. Fabulous. Dark chocolate and peanut butter. What could be better with that? Okay, so I've measured out my chocolate chips. I'm gonna pour them in this bowl because I'm gonna microwave them. And one other thing that I might've forgotten to mention is you're gonna add two teaspoons of coconut oil to this chocolate and you're gonna mix it together. The coconut oil, what it does to the chocolate, it, it makes it get a little bit firmer. So it, it'll, it, it just gets hard, okay? So there you go. And I'm gonna nuke this in the microwave now. Gotta keep an eye on it, you don't want it to burn. Oh boy, look at that. The chocolate chips and the coconut oil. Now our messy project begins, but you know what? It's okay because you can lick your fingers later, like in private. Okay, so we've got 24 gold colored little tin foils. We're gonna do a layer of chocolate first. Okay, so I'm adding two teaspoons of this melted chocolate into our little gold foils. And once I've done all 24 of these deliciousness, I'm gonna put them in the freezer for about 10 minutes. So make sure you have room. You like peanut butter? You hear the peanut butter? You can smell it? Yes, I'll give you one, but not with chocolate, no. Okay guys, so the chocolate's in the freezer for about 10 minutes to freeze and harden. Now I'm going to take about a quarter teaspoon of this peanut butter mixture. Remember it had sugar and vanilla and maple syrup and some sea salt. I'm just gonna get it ready to plop on top. I might go a little bit more generous, but I'm just gonna form a little bit of a little ball, right? So it's all ready. So that's what I'm doing in a, my stuff is in the freezer. I'm just getting this all prepped and ready to go on top of the chocolate. Okay, so here are the beginning, the first layer of the chocolate peanut butter cup. The chocolate is frozen. It was in there for not even 10 minutes. I made little balls while it was, while it was in the freezer and now I'm gonna plop it on top, okay? Little form ball makes the little dough, okay? This is generous amounts of peanut butter, but you know what? It's small. You can have one or two, right? <laughs> so here we are. We've gotten peanut butter on the entire board of 24. Next, I'm gonna put some chocolate on top. This is our third layer. And this is just gonna be one teaspoon. 
and then this goes back in the freezer. And you know, it can get a little messy, it can get a little dribbly, but that's okay. It's gonna freeze, it's not that big a deal. I'm just gonna put it back in the freezer. 10 minutes and counting. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm dying. Okay, so, I know it's a little messy. So here it is, it's frozen. I'm gonna peel this baby back and I'm gonna taste it. And I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. <laughs> Yum. So, so good. And I'm gonna finish it in two bites. Mwah.